Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. We are going after the leader of salvation in just a moment. I am going to grab a forgery that we made in the last video down here at the Black Cat. Uh, we forged Maul's badge of Amity. Yeah, Maul's badge of Amity. So, oops. Ah, I don't want to talk to you. I don't care. We're going to go turn this in real super duper quick because we are here in Grand Soren and, you know, might as well just get some extra experience and whatnot before going after the Elysian, who's been causing all sorts of problems for us throughout the game. He is responsible for summoning a cockatrice to attack town. He is responsible for the Hydra that attacked the encampment way back a million years ago. He's responsible for the first Cyclops that attacked the encampment, like the first big creature that we actually Many dealt with. To drink here. Where all is the alehouse guy? Patrons off post Come on. You should be right here somewhere. There you are. We'll do this real quick. Blah, blah, blah. Sin. Hooray! Money, experience, and so on. And then we get a new thingy. New quest. Um, Ophis's badge. Okay, well, we will be uh, duplicating that and turning that in later. Don't care right now. For now. Leader of Salvation, the Elysian. The time has finally come to take him on. Um, I have shown off his area. It's north of Heaven's Peak Fort. Uh, there's a the Great Wall Encampment, I believe is what it's called. So you can only go into the Great Wall Encampment for this quest. This is the one and only opportunity that we have to go in here. So any treasure chests that are in here, we will only get one shot at opening and looting. Any, I don't know, let's say badges of vows from that side quest series that I've been working on, uh, we will only have one shot to come in here and get the three badges that are in this location. Uh, one of them, I believe, is actually found during the boss fight, so we're going to be a bit harried by the boss fight to find this. Um, I also bought 50 large mushrooms again because they are fantastic at recovering my stamina and letting me run past things like cyclopes with flaming stupid freaking clubs. So all in all, this is going to be a, a fairly straightforward run, I think. Um, I rested at the inn a couple times. It's been a few days of in-game time. So, like, the Chimera up here may have respawned. Uh, there's probably going to be some skeletons and whatnot as well. Some phantasms. Yeah, I can hear skeletons. Um, the skeleton sorcerers or skeleton mages, whatever these guys are, they are going to potentially be problematic, so I do want to deal with them. Because their spells can hit me, even, like, they can... They can hit me with their spells, even if I, like, try to run past this area. Also, they drop some good items. Pigeon's Blood is a good item for upgrading equipment that we haven't encountered too much of. Ancient Scrolls, uh, Forgotten Arc Arcanum, all sorts of good items here. Really good stuff. I'm not going to waste too much time fighting these creatures, if possible. So, yep, there is a Chimera. We're going to take this out real quick, because Chimeras are not much of a threat. They're about as much of a threat as the Skeletons are at this point, let's be perfectly honest here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and chop off the Snake Tail. Um, I think we can go ahead and kill the Goat as well. I really, really, really like being a rogue, being a strider or a ranger, or something that can use daggers, an assassin that can use daggers. Uh, and being able to just use 100 kisses when you're attached to an enemy. It makes killing these uh, larger creatures much, much, much easier. So we got a snake skin. I'm just going to loot these guys real, real quick, maybe. Are they laying on their loot? Did they not drop any loot? 
They didn't drop anything. They did drop something. Jewel of Vicissitude? And you can see, I, I mentioned last time we were here, there are phantasms all over the damn place. And they are just all over the damn place. Uh, we are going to fight a few of them. As long as I have the Holy Enchantment on my weapons here, I can kill them in one shot with my Tenfold Flurry, where I shoot ten arrows, kind of a, like a ten-round burst. So, even these Phantasms, which were a huge hassle earlier in the game, not much of a threat now. Seeker's Token, don't need any more of those. Uh, the problem is, you do have to wait for them to respawn. And I do need to have some sort of magical enchantment. So I am dependent on Slave, my mage, sorcerer, to give me these holy enchantments. Um, and I heard another one, I believe. This stretch was once a river, ere it went dry. This phantom is charged with life. Oh, there's a bunch of goblins and stuff, don't really care. Astrocyte and Astrocyte Shards are uh, pretty, pretty good for upgrading certain magical equipments. So, fairly useful. Um, don't care about goblins, though. Alright, that's enough of that. That was fun. Just kind of showing off the, uh, the natural inhabitants of this area. So, if we head up here, this is the Great Wall Gamut, and... Salvation is causing problems up here, and we there's someone calling himself the leader of Salvation, calling himself the Elysian here, causing problems. So that's why we've been sent here by the Duke to assist. Uh, we will be assisting. Oh, yes. First, I am going to just talk to these shopkeepers and whatnot. See if he's selling anything interesting, and he is. He's actually selling some pretty good stuff, it looks like. Including something I haven't seen before. What would that be? Hagalus's Miracle? Boost strength for a time? Don't really care that much. Something new here. Jewel of Endurance. Lots and lots of jewels. Eh, you know, I mean, that's cool. Some materials. Nothing I don't have in triplicate, duplicate, in large quantities. Cyclops Veil can only be worn by... Oh, interesting. The magic warrior guy and the the uh, warrior itself. Interesting. Cyclops helmet thing. Wizard boots would be nice if I were playing a wizard right now, which I'm not. Interland waist guard. Like a, basically a kilt. They could just call it a kilt. Um, so he has some interesting stuff that I don't think we can buy anywhere else, which is kind of cool. Oops, don't care. Um, this guy will drop crap off in our storage area for us. Um, knowledge chair so we can adjust our pawn's inclination slightly. Um, I believe there is a way that you can rest here. I thought it would be right here. Maybe this guy is our, our innkeeper. Someone I can... Tis my... Just name it, sir. Oh. I am going to rest here until morning, just because this creates a checkpoint with the game, so if anything goes wrong, uh, or I guess, let me rephrase that, if anything goes wrong enough that I need to reload a save, then we can do so. Um, I'm not expecting that to happen, though. And with that, into the Great Wall Encampment area. So I am going to veer off the path a little bit and find the Badges of Vows for a couple of side quests I've been working on here. Uh, a series of side quests. Also cutscene. So let's deal with that first, I guess. Salvation members running away. Cyclops. A couple of armored Cyclops. Cyclopes. Um, not anything that we haven't fought before. Many, many, many times, in fact. So, not that big of a deal. Snow Harpies, those are maybe a different story. Um, 
I am going to deal with as many of these snow harpies as I can, though, just because they are an incredible nuisance in the game. Uh, if they cause me to fall asleep or something, that would be not the end of the world, but boy, would that be irritating to have happen in a big fight like this. I think that's all the harpies. Let's recover a little bit of stamina. By which I mean all of my stamina. Uh, and time to start climbing these cycloops. So, to get... Oh, that was a rift fragment. Where did that go? Uh, to get these cyclopes... Oh, man. You can get them to pull their own helmets off, in case you didn't see that in one of my recent videos. Um, you have to climb up onto the back of their neck, though, like this and then not get knocked off by their friend. Hmm, this might be a bit tricky. Okay, somebody electrocuted it, which will cause them to drop their weapons, which is actually pretty fantastic. Um, we're gonna climb up on this guy. This one is almost dead. I'm probably not even gonna get a chance to get him to knock his own freaking helmet off. Uh, but that's okay. That is not a complaint. I am gonna climb up onto the back of his neck if I can, though, anyway. Also, do you need to keep an eye on my stamina? Oh, man. The fact that there's two of them and they're just right here next to each other is a little bit irritating. And the fact that I don't have a, a pawn who I can influence directly is also moderately irritating. Um, although that lightning spell is pretty neat. It's, uh, it's doing pretty good work against these cyclopes. All right. That's one down. Looks like I broke that other one's armor on like a hand or something. Let me grab some of these things that it dropped. Rugged bones and rugged tusks. Uh, and then this one dropped a rugged tusk or two over here as well. Uh, and I'm just going to move all those rugged tux tusks and things are super, super, super heavy. I'm going to move them over to my ponds. And all this other crap as well. Pigeon's blood. Holy moly, that weighs two pounds. It's ridiculous. Unfortunately, it looks like my holy enchantment has worn off. That's okay. We have already done a lot of damage to this thing. It's almost dead. It still has armor on its legs, so my attacks are just going to bounce off of it, which is a shame. Holy moly. Okay. Good that uh, we got him to drop his weapon. Are you going to come up here and attack me? Come on, pull your helmet off, buddy. Oh, he's more interested in uh, smacking the ground than anything else. Okay, there we go. See, it wasn't that bad to finish off once I got a little uh, lightning damage out of my weapon. Cyclopes are very, very weak to lightning. Right, I think I looted everything that there was to loot in there. So, hooray, let's go inside. Now, I am going to be going after these three badges of vows. I know that I can't get all these badge of vows quests completed, all the from a different sky quest, but I want to do as many of them as I can. Of 
So, my... Okay, cool. So I have holy magic now, so I'm going to be just wrecking these things. Uh, your enchantments, these different enchantments like the uh, um, holy enchantment and the fire enchantment that I had on Lucy earlier and stuff, they, I believe, their damage is based on your, your actual magical offense. So... Uh, like, Lucy and I have insane magical offenses. Holy mushrooms, those are new. Where is the badge? It's here somewhere. It's right around this tree. Oh, there it is. There we go. There's 87. Uh, now there are uh, two others. 39 and 40, and I forget. I forget which one. One of these is only. Oops, let's go ahead and select those two. Um, one of them is only accessible during the actual boss fight itself here. The other one can be accessed before that, so I do need to keep an eye out on those. Also, hello, guard guy. What are you doing? Those salvation bastards show an unnatural unity in their actions. There are good men left in the hold. I wish there were aught I could do to help them. That's okay. I'm going to go help them for you. Lots of skeletons. So yeah, Salvation has been dealing in undead for a while. And undead are not a problem for me when I have these, uh, like, these holy enchantments and things on me. Because my magical offense is just, like, through the roof. Not as much as Lucy's. But uh, I am able to do a significant amount of damage to these things when I have enchantments. By some special means. So that's locked, which is unfortunate. Um, I am going to explore this area. As I've mentioned before... Oh, again, I'm going to go to my map. There we go. Um, as I have mentioned before, in this area... Um, you were only able to come in here, I believe, during this boss fight. Like, during this particular quest. I don't think you can come back... ...later. Although I'm not entirely positive. Maybe that's only some of the area. I don't know. Um, either way, I'm going to go out of my way to loot as much of this area as I can... ...right now. Because I don't know... I don't think you can come back. I don't know, I could be mistaken. Uh, also, that's Cyclops corpses, there. Skeletons, rib cages, I guess, that's all that's left when we start to decompose. Um, nothing we can do over here, there is, I will go ahead and grab the Harspud milk. Alright, so this way, I guess. Out of stamina again. Let's also give the golden daggers to someone else. No need to carry those around. Enlistment core banner, that's also heavy. Just get rid of some of the super heavy crap. And then eat a couple of... No! Didn't mean to give. Oh, that's fine. No harm, no foul. So now there are going to be salvation like salvation cult members amongst the other things that we need to fight and kill in this area as you just saw there briefly because I wiped the floor with him uh, and the guards are like we need to save and defend these guards here and they will help us so watch. My life, sir. Thank you. there are still others held below pray free them as well are you gonna help us Maybe? I thought he was supposed to open the gates. Herm. At long last, aid arrives. Twas quite a wait, sir. The leader There's a second guard here. For the floor above. There's a passage here. We'll take you there more quickly. I'll open it. Aha! Okay. Brace for magic arisen. 
So there is a guy who's going to unlock something for us. I need to deal with these Salvation Cult members real quick. Hello. He opened up another gate for me there, so I'm going to go through that gate in just a moment. So again, Salvation members, they're going to be using Dark Magic. Uh, they are responsible for all the skeletons and things here. So... That's locked. I think I'm going to go through this doorway that was opened, actually. Hang on a moment. Um, so there is another way that you can navigate through this area. If you see, there's kind of a glowing, crack-looking wall right there. Kaboom! You can actually blow holes in some of the walls and things in this area. Uh, and they stand out very much so. So it's not going to be like a, a guess or anything, trying to find those walls. Just completed a quest for killing a bunch of undead. That's pretty sweet. I don't know what's down here. We are those who pray for the end. More salvation, folks. A lot of guards at very low health. Well, it looks like they are going to try to help. Strong wash, discounted herbs, harspud juice. Got all sorts of good stuff from helping these guys out. It's kind of cool. Ah, oh, and he opened the gate. So I'm just going to kind of like randomly wander around and explore, save as many of these soldiers as I can. We got a silver chest plate. That's uh, something. Purifying brew, why not? Dose of courage. Don't think I need any more courage. I think I'm brave enough taking on an entire an entire cult of necromancers by myself. But, you know, whatever. Um, yep, so this gate is now open. Although that's no big deal because we already opened it. I'm going to go this way. The other gate that was opened by a guard for us recently. Apple, berry, harspud milk. Treasure chests, always good, or usually good, occasionally good. Chimeric gauntlets, interesting. Yep, here we go. Broke the bolt. Let's see what's in here. Now, I believe this is the stairway. Yeah, we just fought some uh, some salvation folks on here not too long ago. Juice, pretty good. Aha, cutscene. Mad! Salvation is mad to cut down <laughs> such monsters! A chimera. They'll be eaten, sure as the rest of us! Forgive me, sir, but I'll not open this door. I'll not be food for those beasts. Lucky for that guy, chimeras are not a threat to me. Not really at all. Uh, now, you can actually use the ballistas that are here and fight the chimera with these things. I don't know, might as well give it a shot. It seems like fun. I'm using the explosive bolts, so uh, they're going to light it on fire and explode a whole heck of a lot. Although they're very slow to fire. Oh, the ballista broke. That's a shame. Luckily, there's another one here.
Again, not strictly necessary, especially not where my character is, kind of level-wise and power-wise, but uh, huh, I'm just doing this for fun. It's not often you get to use these ballista to actually attack powerful creatures. Or not often you get to actually use these ballista at all. There's a little maelstrom there. Thank you, slave. God, that feels so creepy and wrong to call my female mage slave. It just doesn't seem right. Uh, little cutscene there that we don't actually get to see, <laughs> thanks to the maelstrom. Just the chimera dying. That's amazing, all. sir! You are amazing. I thought the arisen little more than the stuff of old tales. How wrong I was. Huh? The door? The door? Oh, of course, sir. I shall open it straight away. Still haven't found that other badge of vows that we're after. I do need to make sure I find it before we go into the the real boss fight, <laughs> as you may have guessed. That Chimera was more of a mini-boss than anything else. By which I mean, not a boss at all. Coins. Snake skin. Chimera stuff. Holy moly, I'm heavy. What on earth is weighing me down so much? Soulbreaker. I have no idea where I got this... Can't give those to support Veterans Arc. That somebody. That to Lucy. Marigauntlets. Those are heavy. Okay, so it's all the like weapons and armor and stuff that I've been picking up. That's what's so heavy. Other than the uh, the Chimera stuff that I just grabbed, because that's also quite heavy. Alright, that's fine. <sighs> All right, Chimera down. Still need to find the actual leader of salvation. That is the reason we're here, after all. So onwards and upwards. This way. Um, again, I think there's going to be more. Oh, jeez, more, more uh, character popping. That is the one thing I've noticed very, very much so about the difference between Dark Arisen and the original Dragon's Dogma. Um, like the the graphics, the texture, just like the crap popping in. Much, much, much worse, much worse in uh, Dark Arisen. The pop-in was not so bad, or not bad at all, from what I recall in the original Dragon's Dogma. Engaged in some dark ritual from the look of it. It makes my skin crawl just to think on it. Who can say what they aim to do? I'll open the rear door for you. Go. And make her be your shield. Okay, so they're up on top. They being the Elysian. Up on top doing some sort of creepy super dark ritual. So we know for sure now that we are headed all the way up to the top. Um, also, again, here's another one of those walls that you can destroy if you have an explosive barrel. I don't think we need to do that. I'm going to do it anyway, because it's fun. I enjoy explosives. Ooh, treasure chest. Faithful earring. Another barrel. Okay. And I think this just leads right back down to that gateway that was just open for us. Yeah, here it is. So that guard just opened the gateway. So the those explosives are just to... Hmm. They're just for gateways that may or may not be able to open. Let's see. So the token is in here somewhere. The badge. The badge of vows. Ha! Right there on the ceiling. You can see it glowing. Combat needn't be Move. Move out of my way, pawns. Adjusting. Adjust it. There it is. 
badge number 39. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight badge number 40, because that's the last one that we have in this area. And so badge 40 is going to be the one that is only accessible during the actual boss fight. So I'm going to leave the boss to my pawns and hope that my pawns don't actually kill the boss. Oh, holy moly, what's that? Perfect timing for my holy enchantment to wear off. There we go. Merciful Maker, I am glad to see you, sir. The leader is just beyond Frank. Go and put him to the blade. So the boss fight's gonna be out there. Take what you will from the storeroom. Just at least we can offer you. So if you're not Oh, Fell Lord's Bone. Holy moly, that's new. Ah, that's cool. Um so if you're not somewhat overpowered like I am, I don't know, I don't feel or I don't I don't feel like I should be overpowered, but I am, apparently. Um, then, uh, yeah, if you're not super overpowered, then these things can be a bit tougher, and it's, I don't know. If you're not overpowered, it's, it's easier to let your pawns kind of deal with the boss out here, and you can go find the badge of vows. I am actually very, very worried that I'm not going to be able to get the badge of vows because my pawns are going to be too effective against the boss, but uh, either way, that is going to happen next time. Next time we're going to take on the boss, deal with the Elysian, and just see kind of what happens with this next big, big, big quest, because you know, this is kind of our last big quest before the Duke lets us go take on the dragon. So, uh, I don't know why he's letting us. It seems kind of weird. Anyway, thank you for joining me. See you in the next video, everyone.